In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make 64-bit plugins work on a 32-bit door or vice versa by using a software called JBridge. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube, in Cubase, and FO Studio. So consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. I got a question in the comment section i'm going to put the comment somewhere on the screen so basically he asked if it was possible to make 64-bit vst plugins work on a 32-bit door for example like cubase 5 so i'm going to show you that now so if i open my lead vocal group channel right here you'll see that i've only got these plugins and in my vocal chain after one compressor here there's always another compressor for compacting the vocals and this is where i add my fab filter pro c2 if you look at this under dynamics you can't see any fab filter plugin here but it's actually installed on my computer but you won't see them here if i come down here you won't see anything here so now let me show you how I can make my 64-bit fab filter plugins work on Cubase 5. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, download a software called JBridge. I'll leave the link in the description. You guys can go and download it. It only takes you a few seconds to download it. So don't think it's big. It's very small and easy to use. Once you install JBridge on your computer, it usually doesn't pop up on the desktop. So it will come right here or you can simply just search for it. For me, I've added it to my taskbar down here. So I'll just simply click on it just to open it. It's a very simple tool. When you look at this, it says step one, select your VST host. So like I said, we're trying to make a 64-bit plugin work on a 32-bit host. So we're going to select, I'll be using a 32-bit host, which is our Cubase 5 right here. I'm going to click on this. If you want, you can take time to read through this, but the default settings are okay. I'm not going to waste too much time explaining this. So right here, it says create bridging files inside this directory here. This is the recommended one. You just click on that. Right here, when you reach this point, it will ask you to select the VST plugins that you want to convert or rather bridge so that you can use them. So for me here, I'm looking for my fab filter. If this is 64-bit, I'm sure you know you'll find it here. So you go to local disk C, wherever your operating system is installed, and go to program files. So program files, you have this one here is for 64-bit, and this is where you find 32-bit files. So since I'm getting a 64-bit uh, plugin and converting it to 32-bit, I'll click on this because I'll find it here. I'm going to open this. What you need to do is find the VST folder of your door where the VST plugins are installed. So for me, I'm going to go to Steinberg and go to VST plugins right here. So you see that all my VST plugins are right here in this folder. And there's this folder which is called Fab Filter. And this is what I'm interested in. So they are right here, but they are 64 bit. They are not going to show on my 32 bit host door. Here. So this is a folder that I want to convert. So I'll simply click on the, the folder. So if you want a specific plugin from here and not everything, you can simply go to the plugin and select it. But I want to convert the old bundle, the old fab filter bundle. So I'll do that and just click OK. Once I do this, it will ask me to select a destination folder for my bridging files. This is the folder that I'm going to specify in my door where these files will be found. So since we're now going to have them as 32-bit, we can save them in the 32-bit folder. So in this 32-bit folder, I've created a folder called bridged plugins. So this is where I store all my bridged plugins. So you can simply create a folder by right-clicking and create a new folder so in this case i've already created a folder which is this one here i'll simply click this folder and click ok so it will start analyzing and bridging these files so you just need to wait a little bit it doesn't even take time once it is done you see that 24 files bridged for using in your 32-bit vst host point your vst host to the directory where the files were placed so now the last part is for me to point this vst host which is cubase 5 
to that folder so it can be able to scan those plugins in my bridged plugins folder go to devices and go to plugin information when you come here what you need to do is go to right here which is vst2 plugin paths and just add that folder so i'm going to click on add and just select the folder so it's now in program files 32 it's called bridged plugins i'll click on this and okay then okay once i've added that folder i just need to update my plugins right here so update and it is done now if i go to my lead vox group channel right here just click this and come here i can find my fab filter plugins under vocals here i can click my fab filter c2 and there we have it so just to check that this actually works perfectly well uh, let me play this feeling kind of faded so it's time to go touching on your body now you feel exposed got me in your feelings baby come close i don't know what you're thinking so i download Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click that post notification bell so that you don't miss out every time I upload a brand new video. Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at JDMG. Let's interact there. Comment in the comment section. Let us know what you think and see you in my next video. Peace.